Nathan Zagura here at First Energy Stadium for the Orange and Brown practice in what is currently a weather delay. But we're hopeful that we'll get to see some great Browns action as soon as we welcome back in the largest crowd since 2019 here at First Energy Stadium. Every day this week, I want to be perfect. And then now it's pouring outside. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the weather was horrible. We got delayed for like an hour, I think. When we come back out, I was like, it probably won't be as, as many fans as it would have been. Ladies and gentlemen, your Cleveland Browns! We came out, it was, the stadium was packed and it was just incredible and it just shows the commitment that the fans have to it. This is ridiculous, I ain't gonna lie. That's, and they still came out. Man, this is crazy. I love Cleveland even more now. Yeah, that stadium practice is a way for those young players to get down to the drive there, know where they need to park, know where the locker room is, uh, just all those little things that you might take for granted as a veteran. It is great to see everybody here. I don't know anybody else in the country that would have this many fans here for a practice. So we appreciate you guys more than you know. We've been working. We got a new team. We're ready to roll. We're set a new standard. And these guys are ready to rock for you guys. I think Greg is a fantastic addition to the room. And when you look at our relationship, you know, I think Greg's smart, tough, accountable, resilient, and more importantly, he's a humble servant guy and he's a team first man. Win your levels. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's the, yeah, force him all the time. You know, I, I love Coach Lynch. With him, he coaches me so hard. You know, I love to be coached, and he's going to coach every single aspect of which, whatever you do. They want us to be great players, obviously, but also great individuals. Hey, hey, smash, smash, smash. Oh, dang. We spend a lot of time talking about being a great teammate and what it looks like to be a great teammate. And part of it is our veterans showing the young guys the way and, and pointing out a mistake so they can correct it the next time or praising great effort or those type of things. Gotta get your vision back. Just right to like, go under, like, get your vision back. And I got to be ready to go. Denzel, that's a guy that I've been patterning my game after since I was growing up, since he was at Ohio State. So just watching him be a pro every single day is just helping my, you know, trajectory. It's going smooth. Yeah, it's going smooth. Now I'm trying to, like, I know the defense pretty well, I feel like. Now I'm trying to, like you said, knowing the routes. You know, with Troy Hill, I would say that's my biggest mentor. That's a guy that I talk to the most out of everybody. Me and him more so talk on different coverages, like what do I expect that's coming? You are you called it out before it even happened. Like even you knowing with the uh, hits, you knew something was coming behind? I just had to tell him what I know. More so on the film aspects of things like, hey, the offense, they trying to do this. You can tell about this, give them little pointers and things, but I'm definitely an open book for them and I'm gonna give them everything that I know. The team environment is so important and understanding that guys that have different experiences, being able to share those with the young guys so that they can be successful is something that our room has really bought into and I'm very appreciative of. This is a Hall of Fame coach. This is a Hall of Fame person. I want him to share some words with you guys. You know what it takes to be great in this league? It's not talent. Okay. Everybody has that. Okay. It's not desire. Everybody has that. Everybody wants to be great. You know what it is? It's this. It's chemistry. Yeah, Coach Dungy is somebody that I, I have an immense amount of respect for. For me to be able to listen to the way he has done things in his past, just how he treats his players, uh, is just really good for me and good for our team. I know back at uh, Indianapolis, Brandon Lynch had a great relationship with Tony Dungy. And I think that was really the reason he got into coaching. Tony Dungy, Leslie Frazier, and Alan Williams, those are all mentors to Coach Lynch, and those are the guys that really got him involved in coaching. Anytime that Coach Dungy can come around to impart wisdom, as a young adult and as a, as a teacher, you have to really take advantage of those opportunities. You know, something that Coach Dungy would always say is, pride gets you started, but before your biggest jump, you have to drop it. Hard work on three. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Last time we were in here, we didn't have 90 players, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, where you at? Oh, I broke my back. 
really excited about having Troy Hill. It brings that veteran presence to our defense, playing as many years as he has. He knows a lot of different offenses. And so being able to share with those younger guys is truly invaluable, especially with him because he's played both inside and outside. You do the safety with me? Yeah. When I say let's work? Yeah. You take that first shot though. Okay. Next time. Yeah, so we're just tightening it inside. You've been through a lot of things in this league and seen a lot of things that sometimes the coach might not be able to give them because, you know, they're not the ones out there playing. Obviously, they watch a lot of tape, but, I mean, you get a different feel for the game when you're out there. We're like, let's work, let's work. I should have told you to get in a little bit more. <laughs> Never play from a fear of failure. That would be the biggest advice. Just go out there and do what got you here, you know. Those would be the advice I give a rookie. Guys, we're building endurance. You're playing a game on Saturday, all right? It's going to be hot. It's muggy in here. It's going to be muggy down there. Halftime, you're going to take a break, okay? There's going to be TV timeouts. So all those moments in those games where it's, the intensity's up, then it's going to come down, you got to bring it back up, all right? So that's, that's why we structure practice like this. That's why you have a break, because you got to be able to respond. Appreciate how this team is working, all right? I see it every single day, and I appreciate how this team is working. Team on three. One, two, three. It's finally a football Friday here in Cleveland, and there's some calm today. The team boarding the plane for a business trip down to Jacksonville. The Browns and the Jags tomorrow night in the preseason opener. Yeah, so this year we have a preseason. We have three games, and two of them are on the road. So getting back into the swing of how we travel, understanding where we meet, those type of things at the hotel, uh, I think is important. All right, yo, 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 I like the energy. I like it. All right, so if you're not playing in the game or you're out of the game, you have to support your teammates, okay? There's a lot of young guys that are going to play a lot of plays in this game, and I can't wait to see it. I know your coaches are excited to see it. Support your teammates. Be there for them, all right? I want to see guys in and out of the huddle on offense. I want to see us communicating down and distance on defense. I want to see 11 guys on the field on special teams. I want to see how we operate. You're playing football. Okay, you're playing football and there has to be effort. Okay, I can't wait to see that guys. That's the exciting stuff. I wish you a lot of luck. All right, hydrate. We're heading to walk through right now. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Jacksonville, Florida. Game number one of the preseason. And what a thrill to be back with you as we begin the most anticipated season that the Cleveland Browns have had since certainly coming back into the NFL in 1999. 11 and 5 last year. A marvelous, thrilling trip to the playoffs. A tough loss when the Browns got nipped in the end by the Chiefs, but from the moment they walked away from that game, they and all of us waited for this night to start this season. Good job, Case. Dicing them up. That was a nice shot, man. It was definitely good to see those guys get off to a good start against Jacksonville. You know, we still have a number of guys that uh, were injured, so some of our younger guys got to play, which was good for us to give us a chance to evaluate them. Get a shot. He's looking in the pocket. He got hit. He's going down right away. They sack him. Nice. The hit made by Sheldon Day. Getting the sacks, that was part of our emphasis this offseason. I knew it was a good night for us. And back is Minshew, and the Browns are in there. There comes Koromoa, and he's in and got him. Jeremiah Awusu Koromoa, we love you. You're off to a great start. You know, he's just unbelievable. Um, that's what he's always going to do. He's going to have a stat line like that all the time. So. Even coming back the next day, he was like, I don't know why people are so surprised, you know, because that's what he does. Um, he finds the football. I see you, son! I see you! He's going to heave it down the field. It's a wobbler. We got some? Yes! Getting it is Richard LeCount. The rookie got it, then he fumbled the ball, and they pounce on it at the 42-yard line of the Browns. Preseason definitely is, a, is an opportunity to see the development of players and coaches. For us as a coaching staff, you know, it's how we operate on the sideline. I feel like I have a really good staff. They are younger. And at the end of the game, I just thought it was right, you know, talking to Coach Stefanski to give those guys an opportunity to call the game. And I think that's what's really good about Coach Stefanski. 
and how he's trying to develop this staff professionally. In the pocket, up in the pocket, he got hit. He got away from Romeo McKnight. Now he's running, now he better go down, and he does. As the Browns were blowing in, Richard LeCount came in. He's played very well. Yes, he has. Good job, boy. Got that two minute. Yeah, I think mentorship, I think that's big. I think in coaching, you just meet different guys. And what you find out, those guys had mentors. So I think it's a big part of the game, and I think it really helps develop uh, coaches. What's up, man? How you doing, there? Oh, oh, man. I'm so happy for you. You know, you build relationships. Urban Meyer, he was a, a position coach at Illinois State. That's where I went to school, got a scholarship to play there. Feels like I know a couple guys on everybody's staff, so I don't know if that means I'm old or, you know, or what it all. I have no idea, but, but it was good. All right, be Lynch, go ahead. Well, we ask that you allow us the endurance to continue to run the race, to be a smart, tough, accountable, resilient team. Amen. 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 Hey, nice job, fellas. I asked you to compete. We can pay our ass off. You know, everybody says in the preseason, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. They're keeping score, we want to win. All right, we want to compete. I appreciate how this group competed. Plenty to clean up. Don't forget, we're in training camp mode, so we got to continue to grind, okay? Hey, appreciate you guys compete. Team on three. One, two, three. Welcome in to Browns Live, presented by Cross Country Mortgage. As I said earlier, Nathan Segura, Ken Carmen, Ken, this is the day that we have circled on the calendar for training camp, the joint practices between the Browns and the Giants. Y'all see 25? That's what we're looking for. We're trying, to, we're, going, we're trying to bust his ass today. Oh, I, I spot him. He's sitting back there in the cut, nervous. My brother Rodarius Williams got drafted by the Giants in the sixth round. You know, that was my first time ever, you know, playing football against him. Hey, everything. What's happening, baby? How you doing? Love, baby. Love, love. Ooh-wee. Yeah, about to be a real one out here. Yeah, he's going to be real. Oh, me. How you feeling? Oh, uh, let's snap it up. Get us up right. Get us right, man. Because he always been older, so, you know, uh, we never just really went against each other, against, like, an opposite team and nothing like that. So, this was our first time ever meeting up. Uh, against each other. He, I know he's proud of you, you proud of him. No, nah, for uh, that, sure, that, man. That's awesome, man. It's an amazing have, feeling. Have your brother out here, man. It's an amazing yeah. feeling, bro. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to get the best on him, regardless, you know, who he was. So, <laughs> so he's out on the field, you know, I just wanted to, you know, be the, be the best I could be against him. You know, whenever you're in a joint practice, the competition is what makes it feels like a game. Um, you're used to going into practice, you know, against you know other guys on your team. You kind of know what they do, what they expect. But when you go against a different team, it just it raises the competition. It raises the energy. Yeah, I think it's really valuable to go up against another team and practice in the training camp setting. It allows you to set up practice so that you get work in the red zone. You get work in a two minute where there's no guarantee that you'll get that in the preseason game. I worked with Coach Judge to put together a schedule where we could get some really quality work in a controlled environment. And our, our ones out there and Baker got a lot of really good work in a competitive environment. I thought it was really good work by both sides. Like Space Jam and Magic Juice. <laughs> Boy, hell yeah, boy. This, I feel like we have a, a team that's really close. I feel like we have a group of guys uh, that want to compete. Uh, we were flying around to the ball. So that was good to see, because you know we have a bunch of new guys, and you just want to see how it all fits together. And I really feel like we have the right mix of, of people in our defense. Hey, I'm almost, I'm almost sold on you, Greg. I'm almost sold on hey, you, boy. No. I'm there. Good boy, he's tired. They tired. We ain't tired. Y'all tired. Are you crazy? Me tired. Yo. See it all. Yo. Don't let it fool you. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Walk the carpet, Wood. Yo. 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 A pick up to make you throw your script away, right? Absolutely. That's all I, that's all I need to hear then. G. 
We get a pick is over with. We get a pick, we end it early. Yeah, we get a pick, we end it early. Yeah, we gonna get you, we gonna get us out of here early, baby. Pick is old. When you on that mic, yeah. Watch what you say. Promise. They gonna pull that back. Hey, when it happens, they gonna pull it up, put it on. Beat it out of the city. Get down, get down, get down. Walk that, Greg. Walk that, talk that, Greg. Let go, snap it off. Let go, snap it off. Let go, snap it off, Greg. Man, it was amazing because we got out the field. You know, that was, that was, it was, it was a great time. You seen the whole team came off the sideline because they knew practice was over. So <laughs> it was a big feeling. They got that on the mic. They got. That on the mic right though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Took care of each other, all right? It was chippy, it was competitive as hell. I get all that, but know how you can get your work done. That's, we need another day just like that, so I appreciate it. Hey, guys, we gotta compete. We got a lot of work to do. We are not there, but I appreciate how this team works. Team all three, one, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! You like my sweat? What you, what you been doing? Nothing. Look, look at Coach. Say, what's up, Coach? How are you doing? You happy to see your dad? Yeah. That's a blessing. It's an amazing feeling, man. Uh, just knowing where we come from, um, knowing the struggles we had, you know, just to get here. And, uh, you know, just seeing the whole family come up and support. You know, even if they didn't take a plane, some of them drove 15 hours just to get here. So, you know, that was kind of, you know, a thing that everybody in the family wanted to see, me and my brother in the NFL. So, you know, a great experience with our family. It was a dream come true. Shit, man, not so. Oh, my God, I forgot. <laughs> The understanding of the mic'd up, especially when I was at Notre Dame, was, you know, the guys always, you know, tell you, oh, we gotta get away from him, he's a fez, you know, he, he's a low down, he's about to snitch on us, just stuff like that. And always oh, okay today. Oh! <laughs> nah, it's, oh, it's okay. you? it might be him, it no, might be him. You. No, it's you. No! So it's you. Wow. Check me, check me, check me. Wow! Check, check me. I don't got it. It's mouth. Oh, Check my mouth. It's right there. No, it's not. Look. Yeah, it is. That's not it. It's in. No, it was not. No. Wow. Bro, come on. They could have told me, though. Hey, the rook ain't even. No, but That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, well, I tried to stay as low key as possible, but uh, the camera guy kind of told on me. So, you know, after that, you know, I couldn't get no real good content with the players. But. <laughs> hey, bro. Why y'all got me so hot like that? Ain't no nobody effing with me. Why you keep walking by me, bro? Because <laughs> I rock with you. You my dog. You remember, you remember last night when we was uh, we were what? Playing the game, no, and then I was, she, I was not with that. And she had. Night. I thought you. I was not <laughs> video game. It's, it's always good to be able to let the fans in, and, uh, to, to be able to even play back and see how you um, operate through the day, and being able to see what you say in terms of your communication and stuff. Yeah, we gotta be aggressive out here today. Let's go, man. Hey, turn up. Let's go. Let's turn up. Let's turn up. Baby! Stay up, stay up, stay up. Yeah! Hey, come on now. You want to come with it? You want to come with it? They say, you know, you practice hard and the game will come easy. Being able to have the utmost energy in practice, being able to have um, the utmost stamina in practice to run around, to uh, play hard, you know, play in and play out, you know, or at least um, trying to do that. You know, sometimes you may fall short, but you know the effort uh, must be there. Yellow. I was gonna say I was gonna see a color. You gotta think about it. You dumb. I was gonna say lime, but that's not a color. Only colors it is is the ones on the rainbow. And they have specific names in a different shade. In a different shades. That's called primary colors. Like you're not gonna say, oh, well, oh yeah, the color of the rainbow. That's lime right there. I mean, no, you're not. You're probably not gonna see it. If you type in colors of the rainbow, it's gonna give you specific colors. That primary color, but you know, you, you see a color, and you know if it's yellow or if it's not. Man, Rich, he gotta understand that you always got those primary colors, and you can also 
have those colors that's in between. So you got the rainbow that has different colors. So now when we got a, a Gatorade that has that is a lime color, it is a yellow Gatorade first and foremost, but also it can go for green. So what Tone, color is that? Can you not make an argument that that's green? No. He just said it's yellow. No, no, no. I said, but you can make an argument that it's green because it's in between no, those can. two shades. Hey, coach. You can, you, can, you can make an argument that this is green, right? It's closer to yellow, probably, but you Exactly, I said it's yellow, but you can argue. Thank you. Uh, you can't. Appreciate you, we're rich at. This is what I was trying to tell him, but he says that it's just yellow. That's not the case, Richard LeCount. <laughs> hey, you gonna stop right now. You good, Rich, let me go. <clears throat> come here, Rich, come here, Rich. Come here, Rich. <laughs> The experiences between the NFL and college training camp is um, slightly similar. You know, the competition is leveled up a little bit more uh, because you have guys not only um, fighting for a position, but they're fighting, uh, you know, to feed their families and things like that. It's a very uh, competitive stage, um, especially uh, when you're going through these certain drills and things like that. So, um, you know, I would say that's the biggest difference um, is just the competition. Remember. It doesn't matter what anybody says. It's about what you do and who is it about. Us. All that matters is what we do. Either we shut them down right there, all right? We bounce back if anything ever happens. Nobody runs it in. They didn't. Now we fix the pass coverage, okay? There's a couple things, easy fixes for all of us working together, all right? LB's on three. One, two, three. LB! Leave it all out on the field and let the chips fall where they may. Malcolm Smith, he is the guy that they all go to to ask questions. And he's the father figure. <laughs> 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 <laughs>